Hey guys, it's your girl LXL77, and this is my review of The Real Housewives, The Real Housewives of Atlanta. But first, before I get into that, I want to tell everybody, make sure you vote. Voting is important. You can't sit here and complain about how things are if you won't even vote. So if you're able to vote, vote. Especially, you know, people in my age group, they don't think, oh, it doesn't matter. It matters. Vote. Vote. Exercise your right. So many of our ancestors, both from the woman's side and the minority side, fought and died for our ability to vote. So go and vote. Let your voice be heard. And if you don't go and vote, don't don't complain about it. Ooh, why taxes go up? Why this? Why this? Maybe if you would have voted, something would have changed. So go vote. Early voting ends today, but no election day. The official voting day is November 2nd. And all you got to do, if you don't know places to go vote, just Google places to vote in your city and state and you'll find it. So go vote. Now that I've said that, Real Housewives of Atlanta. Oh my goodness. I'm going to try to do these in alphabetical order, so I think that means that I would start with Candy. Yes, Candy. You know, I you know, she's, you know, I like her. She's doing her little independent woman thing right now. Focus on her music career and business, you know. And her wardrobe is kind of transitioning, you know. In the season before, she's a little more classy, a little more reserved. Now it's just, you know... You seeing the see-through tops and the bustiers and, you know, little things like that and, you know, just little. So, she she giving us a little a little something extra, you know. She's trying to, you know, show, you know, she still got it, you know. But she's trying to do her independent woman thing. So, I'm still waiting to see, you know. The jury's still out on that one. But, you know, the hair is cute, though. The hair is cute. Um, Cynthia. Cynthia, I like her, you know, she's also, you know, focusing on her independent woman thing, and I do definitely feel her on the marriage thing, because I've been proposed to before, the only difference, the people that propose to me won too much and nothing, I mean, a doorknob has more sense. you know, a doorknob did, would do more for me than they did, and you know that's real sad, so no, so, I've had a couple people, you know, I've been posted before, and I'm like, really? But anyway, that's another video. So, I do like that thing. Yes, her fiancé is older, but, you know, they make a cute couple. They compliment each other. Now, let's see. Dwight. Yeah, Dwight. I don't know, all of a sudden, people buying $30,000 here, $10,000 here. Really? So you got all this money laying around that you just giving people. Here $30,000, here $10,000, really? And you were being messy. Because if you weren't trying to be messy, you wouldn't have been spreading around to Kim. And you know Kim. Tell a fax, telephone, tell Kim. So you were trying to be messy. So I don't even want to hear that. You were trying to be messy. And you know good well. You know that you know that you know that you did not get straight. $30,000? $30, you might have gave her $30. $30,000? Really? Really? Okay. I don't think so. And good for you, Sheree, because you checked and made it him. You checked and made it him. Yes, you did. Checked and made it him. So yeah, you're you going around $30,000, $10,000. Really? Really? Really, though, I don't think so. Mm -mm. And I'm going to need you to eat a sandwich or something. I'm going I'm, I'm to need you to get it together. I don't know what you're going through. You know, in all seriousness, if you're going through some things, go to the father. And I'm not playing about that. But you really, you need to get it together and stop hopping from housewife to housewife. You always somebody's best friend. That's enough for Dwight. That's all the time. Hmm. Moving on. So, now we are down to, I believe, NeNe. And if I get off of alphabetical order, I'm sorry, but it is what it is. So, NeNe, girl, Greg should have had his butt. If he can do number, sit there in a chair and be quiet, he should have been there for you. 
Marriage is for better or for worse, sickness and health. He should have been, his butt should have been in that seat. He should have been the one holding your hand, telling you it's okay. He should have been there. Right or wrong, differences, whatever, he should have been there. And your son, so the first thing he said, he didn't say, Mom, are you okay? You need me to get some water. He said, why did you do that? I would have told him, why did I let you back in my house? The first thing that he should have came out of his mouth is, can I help you to the bed? Can I give you some water to take your pain medication? You need me to fluff your pillow. You need me to run in the errands. You need me to Now, why did you do that? What was the point of that? What was the point of me letting you back in my house? Hmm. Them crochet, crochet, crenshaw braids would have been flying from here to here to here. Stitches and all. We would have just been, why? Why? I'm going to show you a why. Come here. Come here. I got a why for you. Your butt. If your no good stepdaddy couldn't have been there, your butt should have been there. So, Nene, girl, you do you. If you need to get some lifted, some de-hand, some enhanced to make yourself feel good, then do it. Do it for you. You ain't doing it for nobody else. And I know Shrey and I'm talking about making plaster, making really Shrey. Anyway, that's a whole nother video there. And I think last, but definitely not least, Phaedra High Class Paw. Phaedra High Class Pogs. Like Candy said, she is Bougetto. Bougetto. When you trying to, when you bougie and ghetto at the same time, with them little rind and big rhinestones on her eyelids and the flowers in her hair, was this a prom or a cotillion? That is not a baby shell. A, a cotillion. It was a cotillion prom. A prom tillion. There you go. And I, what was with the, the dancers and the, the dancers, I, I didn't get that. And then her and Dwight had to do their little thing because he's her housewife flavor of the week now. And they just together and she just, you know, thinking, you know, just oh, I got all of this and I got all of that. And, you know, canned food is really, you know, growing up in a white household. What is wrong with you? You know, I kind of take offense to that because my boyfriend is white. And even though it is true, like, there are a lot of differences, we were raised 110, 20, 50, 200 percent different. Co completely just. But you shouldn't talk about your man. You on TV just talking about your man. You know, he don't know this. He don't know that. He did this. He did that. He must be good at something. You married him. And the, I, he signed a prenup, so he signed a prenup, so I know he loved me, really? Just he signed a prenup? Really? Really, girl? Really? I'm just, I just, I just can't get over the, the, the ballerina, I mean, what was the purpose? Kim said it. You should have your, and I'm sorry I missed Kim, I did it out of unalphabetical order. I don't know how to edit, so this is what it is. But Phaedra, really, girl? You should have been sitting in a rocking chair, opening your presents, smiling, saying thank you, reading your cards, and eating you some cake. Not sitting there trying to, you know, do the dance and the, the and how the, the rose bush in your hair. And you just a little too bougie for me. You think you all that in the bag of chips when you, mm-mm. I'm, whew, anyway. Kim. Kim, Kim, Kim. Kim, you can't, you can't sing, sweetie. I'm gonna need you to know that. It is really sad because you know where I you know my generation of singers there are some really good ones out there, and then there are some really good ones that have really good voice technicians. Because nowadays all you need is a synthesizer, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. You know, where the people you know in Pay the Bell's day, Luther Vandross, they could blow. That was Stephanie Mills. There wasn't no synthesizer. That was some voice. The only synthesizer was from her, the voice. Nowadays, if you're cute and you got half rhythm, you can get a record deal. Really, girl? Really? I'm gonna need I'm gonna need you to get your independent woman on this season. I don't want to hear you on about Big Daddy this and Big Daddy that. And that that daughter of yours talking about I wanna have my friend over while you're in town. No, ma'am. I I don't think so. I don't think so. Not at all. No. But anyway, that's my little review so far, so I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.